Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video. Hey man, I went out and did some test runs with your boy Darren. G S V T car. And man, his thing was hooking and booking. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Hey man, like I said, I was doing a little 60 to 130 testing with his car on the big pulley just to see what it would do. As a matter of fact, check out what this car did on the big pulley. I can't show y'all what it's gonna do when it's on a small pulley with all the power because my man here, he likes to play in Mexico, so he can't let everybody know everything. So uh, check, this, uh, check this run out right here. Yeah, buddy, a 5.5. Five. Five, five, 5 on a big pulley stock blower. Ooh, that is moving for a stick shift car. But those were on his Mickey Thompson ET Street R's. Now, I have my Mickey Thompson ET Street R's in 17s. But what I found is my ET Street R's, they, uh, they seem to have like a glazing on them or something from me uh, spinning so much on the street. Um, I think what I need to do is uh, go to back to the drag strip with my ET Street R's and heat them up a little bit and then run them down the drag strip, uh, run them down the drag strip with the glue to kind of restore the tire. They seem to have like a haze on them that I cannot hook. Um, as a matter of fact, I went out to do a 60 to 130 pull and what happened is I tried it on my higher boost setting and look what happened when I turned up the boost. dog i mean that was scary like i started out the run on my 19 pounds of boost setting that's my street setting that's the setting i raced the viper on um and then i tried to turn it up to my 25 pound setting and the tire is lit up at a hundred mile an hour plus and i and they kept lighting up all the way to 130 mile an hour that was scary bro that was uh that was pretty scary so the tires are not holding for whatever the reason but like i said i went out in darren's car and darren car making about 900 on a big pulley and it hooked uh from the dead start with a supercharger so i'm gonna try his et street r's on my car um the middle nt05 r's are great they're good they work pretty well um at the power level that i'm at but i can't hook any real power down low so I always got to start out kind of at like eight, nine hundred, and then I ramp in the power as I go. So I want to see if his tires, if I can hook more power down low, and I want to see if his tires can hook my 25 pounds of boost on a non prep surface. Uh, just so you guys know, point of reference, uh, my car on 19 pounds makes 1100 wheel horsepower. So I don't know what it makes on 25 pounds. But let's just say it's got to be a hell of a lot more. So already put on one. And now I'm about to put on the other one. Oh, hi, big perp. How you doing, girl? Hey, yo, I know y'all love watching this thing go fast, but this is a machine, an animal beast in terms of the execution of the look and everything like that. Don't forget, this right here can be yours. That's right. We're giving away big Herp, our wide body Dodge Charger RT. It looks amazing inside and out. So make sure you don't miss an opportunity. You can get something as simple as a decal that enters you to win. But whatever you do, visit montafame.com right now. Enter to win big perp. You waiting for somebody to win you? I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna be sad to see you go. God, you look good. But anyway, I already put on one wheel on this side. Now, does it look nice on my color combination? Hell no, this look crazy. This look out of place, but I'm just testing the tires to see if I wanna change my NTO 5 rs to 18 inch uh, ET Street R's. This way I'll have a set of 17 inch ET Street R's and 18 inch ET Street R's, cause that's what these are, 18 inch ET Street R's, Mickey Thompson. So I'm gonna see if these hook harder than these. All right, let's go. 
mod to fame, mod to fame. Heading on over to where we gonna go to do what we gotta do, you understand me? All right, boys, so a couple things that I like to do to get set up and something that I suggest that everyone does when they're about to race one of these cars. Um, I like to talk about the settings, right? So my settings are always this. Now, I don't have an automatic, right? So I don't have a setting for a transmission. But if I did, my setting for transmission would be track, uh, but everything else would be the same. Stefan, why would you put your suspension in street? Hold on, I'll explain. Put up these windows for a second. The reason why I put my suspension in street. Man, I love the way this car sounds. Uh, the reason why I put my suspension in street is because uh, it's called weight transfer, man. These cars have a lot of weight, so it's good to use that weight to your advantage. You want the front to sling up as high as it can go without wheeling obviously wheeling is bad but you want the front to go up as high as it can go so it can push all of that weight to the back tires that is something that i focus on heavily making sure that i get the weight to transfer uh, my next mod is going to be the diablo sport suspension controller which is going to not only have the front to jump up but it stiffens up the rear to hold it like that um, right now, the, the front and the back are soft. So the back, yes, although it does drop, uh, it could want to spring back up. Yes, so what I was saying was weight transfer is super important. Um, when do you wanna use track mode? Well, track in these cars is actually more geared toward exactly what it says, track. Uh, but that doesn't mean straight line track. That means, hold on, let me shift. That means, um, road course track so track mode stiffens up the suspension as much as possible to, to keep it from having body roll uh, but that's a bad thing when you're uh, talking about drag racing because you want that transfer of weight you want that that yaw you want it to sling back and then go so that's why my next mod is definitely going to be the diablo sport uh suspension controller can't wait to make a video on that for you for you guys um as you guys know i'm already tuned on uh diablo sport software so uh, just keep it in the family, you know what I mean? Mm, definitely hooking better. I can definitely say it's hooking better. Jeez. Wow, that was pretty good for, for that little bit of boost. That was pretty damn good. That was pretty fast for that little bit of boost, guys. Wow. Um, thought I hit 130, I didn't. Uh, obviously, I only hit like 128, but still, for that little bit of boost, man, that was that was fast. Wow. And it hooked. It hooked damn good. Really good. All right, cool. <laughs> pretty damn good man I, i'll let you know when we could do a full uh 130 pull we gonna do that next I started running out of gas on that. Well, not running out of gas. I'm on E85. And on E85, you always want to make sure you have like a half a tank if you're doing pulls. Um, I can go as low as close to a quarter, but I can't do pulls on a quarter and I'm on a quarter tank of gas. So 
it started uh, running out of fuel and cutting out on that run. But I got a really good idea of what, what would be possible if I was able to do a full run on that one. Um, that one came out to uh, a 5 4, and that was with it cutting out fuel <laughs> toward the middle of the run. You could actually, uh, you could actually hear the car was going, uh, uh, uh. That, that, was, uh, that was it running out of fuel. So, not safe. Uh, that's a mistake you never want to make. You could blow up your car that way. Uh, always make sure if you're going to run the E85 that you have enough gas. That being said, looking at the data, though, oh, my God. You know that 4.9 uh, run that I posted in the last video when I did some draggy pulls? Well, on that run, my 60 to 70, my 60 to 70 on that run was like 0.78 or, or 0.71 or something like that. I dropped my 60 to 70 by two tenths uh, by being able to start in second gear with some decent boost. Oh my God, this car is going to legitimately fly, guys. It is going to legitimately fly. Before, uh, my 60 to 70 was like 0.71. My 60 to 80 was like 0.16. Uh, 60 to 90, I don't know, I gotta look. But uh, my shift, that no lift shift is crazy. Did you guys hear that? It was like, wow, wow, <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Yo, okay, so I guess that answers the question, right? The Mickeys are sticky, baby. Yes, they are stickier than the Nitto NT05Rs. And these are 18s, so I think what I'm gonna do is just get some new 17s for my 17 inch wheels and uh really see what this thing can do on some mickeys on a nice warm day right now it's uh 52 degrees out so not terrible but also not great but i give mickeys a lot of credit man they holding me down i'll see y'all back at the crib <laughs> You say it's stock? Yo, 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 heads up. First of all, all right, everybody on Instagram noticed who this is, but on my YouTube, you guys are stuck in a Dodge world. So, anyway, it's my man Dre. This is his Audi TT RS. He used to have a B58 340, and we raced like four times. I got two, he got two, and we haven't settled. We have not settled it yet. So, this is his new car. These cars are absolute monsters, and uh, we're gonna link up, man, as soon as possible. We ran into a little timing issues today, so we were trying to get it done to, yo, I give it to you. You didn't back down at all. I didn't back down, but we gonna, we gonna get it done, bro. I'm excited to see this one go down, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got the, I call these cars pocket rockets, because they are so light, but so fast, bro. Um, <laughs> it's very impressive for a 2.5 liter, man. Yeah. You made you made the right decision. Um, the thing is, though, I, not a lot of people are gonna be able to copy you because these cars are what 70 grand. Yeah, it's expensive. That's the yeah, thing. 70 grand is gonna keep a lot of people out of it, bro. I mean, <clears throat> and if you a Hellcat kind of guy, you're not buying one of these because they too small for you. <laughs> so, but I'm talking about like the other people, like that used to buy 340s. They're not jumping up to this. So. But yo, Dre, man, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. What is it? One Stock F30. One Stock F30. You got to change that now. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the OG name. <laughs> I feel you, brother. I feel you. I'm looking forward to our run, though, man. It's going to be crazy. Yo, look at that Audi dash. My Audi got the same dash, bro. It's so nice, the way it's laid out and shit. Including the, con the climate. You got a luxury car now, boy. Chilling. No chilling. more kid shit. Okay. <laughs> I see you boy but yeah man we I'm trying to make these videos happen bro but it's always something man it's always something but we we definitely listen 
You ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. We gonna be around. Yeah, I told you first, first forty-five degree day. Oh, he got the laptop ready. I'm gonna catch some vlogs. <laughs> you go, you gonna catch the vlogs? Yeah. I feel you, brother. I feel you. But on the way, you gonna have to go south then, uh, because you going north is to the bridge. Yeah. This is probably my first time coming right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 